Today I'm back to answer a question which I've had both from my online audience as well as my offline audience. In this video I'll be using Onshape and I'll be sharing with you how to use the dimension tool to create accurately sized sketches or 3D models exactly the size you want them to be. First of all, of course, you are going to want to be starting a new sketch. In this case, I'll be creating a simple sketch on the top plane and I'm going to view that sketch normal to. You can do this by pressing the key N on your keyboard or you can select the correct view from the cube up here in the top right of your Onshape window. For this I'm going to use a simple rectangle starting on the origin moving my mouse the four sides of the rectangle will grow. At this point in time this is where some confusion has started to build among some of the people I've been talking with because as you move the mouse that rectangle grows both the x and y axes dimensions values are changing in front of you and the question that's been asked of me what if I want those to be whole numbers let's say I want the measurement here to round down to 35 by 50 it's really difficult to move my mouse and get it to accurately say 50 when each tiny movement could be like that one there, 0 0.002 of a millimeter out. And then as soon as I start trying to move the Y axis, the X axis changes. And this has been causing some frustration among particularly some of my students who've been spending quite some time trying to get their dimensions to be whole numbers. Let me explain to you now. During the initial process of sketching the shape that you're doing, you don't actually need to be precise about this at all. In fact, all you really need to do is decide, I want a re rectangular shape. Maybe I want it to have longer sides on the y-axis, or maybe I want to have longer sides on the x-axis. Either way, just roughly draw the shape and click it. The numbers will be what they will be for now, because the next tool that I'm going to show you allows you to properly define those dimensions. In Onshape, the dimension tool is kind of hidden along here. To use this tool, all you need to do is click on that to select it. And you can select by clicking one line like this, and then moving your mouse. That will then create a dimension text block, which you can move and place. And as soon as you click after placing it, it will now allow you to alter that value. So you can then type on your keypad what you would like that value to be. And there you can completely define the shape and size of your sketch. Once you've done that, click the tick over here and your sketch is complete. Then when you extrude your sketch into three dimensions, you can of course drag and drop this arrow here If you want to quickly extrude your shape to a particular dimension, you might find it quicker to click over here in depth and then enter the value straight into that field there. Then once you have the correct dimensions, you can click the tick and your feature is now complete. Using the dimension tool to create dimensions in your sketch is really helpful especially if you may 
want to adjust the size of your drawing later on because you can quickly come back into that sketch, double click on those dimensions to change them again and when you click the tick to exit that sketch, your 3D shape will be rebuilt with the new dimensions. The dimension tool can be applied in several ways. It can be applied to the diameter of a circle, simply clicking on the outside line of the circle and placing the dimension. That will allow you to specify the diameter of the circle. If you have two parallel lines like this, you can use the dimension tool to by selecting one and then the next one. You can then create a dimension between the two of those. You can create a dimension between two dots or ends of lines. You can also select one line and then the next line to specify the angle between the two of them if they share an end point. It's worth noting that you can move and place the dimensions anywhere in the sketch. They are not part of the sketch as such. They're just information which is there to help understand the relationships between the lines on the sketch. So that's a little bit about the dimension tool. In an upcoming video, I'll talk with you about the color of these lines and why some of these lines are black and some of these lines are blue. Until then, see you later.